Hello. In this video we're going to talk about testing tables. Now testing tables are something that you'll use in the development stage of your project and there are a number of types of testing. There is uh, what we call component or unit testing which is testing a small part of your functionality. There is integration testing where you're testing how one bit interacts with another. There is system testing where you're testing the entire application and how it works. And then there is functional or user acceptance testing. Uh, the thing we're looking at here, you would use in system testing, you would use in unit testing or component testing. But testing is all very much of a muchness in terms of how you record it. Mostly they're just for different purposes. So let's have a look at the components. We're testing over here what is loaded. Now this is for a project of mine called um, Penguin Coin. And so we want to know, does the page load? Well, they're going to link from the front page and we're expecting it to load without error. Now, the actual result would be load without error. There we go. And I don't need to say how I fix that. Now, when I type in the address from the browser, it will probably give me the same result. But we're going to check it anyway, because we're looking for success and failure. Because failure is really what we're interested in. We're looking for things that don't work. So I'm going to do that. And this loads without error too. By the way, I actually would go and run these tests. I'm not just going to assume that they're true. So on and so forth. Um, what we don't put is as expected. Um, we are explicit about what we find and we might in fact say, so if we're looking for heading is visible, so in fact the heading is visible and says penguin coin. There we go. And that's true. And then I'm looking heading is center aligned. I, it's aligned. Oh, actually no, it's aligned to the left. So it might go to somebody else to fix it. They will might type in fix CSS in style.css and then we might actually do that test again and we'll do it again and then we'll get it as fixed up so that we've got the record of that process of the error being identified and the error being fixed. So they're not complicated. I have noticed that some people just do them as an afterthought at the end. It's just like, well, I finished developing, but it's a really good way of actually ironing out the errors. And you ideally would actually write them before you write the code. So you would say, well, I've got the mock-up of this page. So this is all of the testing. You should be able to write all of the tests before a line of code is written. Uh, and then it's got this, um, this documentary trail of what testing was done and that things actually did work and that it was tested rigorously. So that's what a testing table is about.